Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. A special Nike hot seat guest today. He's Ryan Milhoff, once one of the most sought-after 125-pounders in the country, and then he decided to wrestle for the University of Oklahoma. He joins us now. Ryan, how are you? Good. How you doing, Scott? Good, man. Thank you for taking the time. I'm a little confused as to what's going on overall in this uh, departure from OU transferring. You've requested a release from the school. Uh, there's been a whole string of activity of back and forth be between the athletic department, uh, your family, et cetera. But where do you stand right now as far as departing the school and where you're going? Is Arizona State your ultimate destination? Yes, Arizona State's the the final destination. You know, I'll be making the uh, transfer after the semester, so I think it's like December, like sixteenth or or something like that. Um, I'll be making the the transfer over. And yeah, who who isn't confused about this whole this whole uh, ordeal? It's it's been crazy. Do they make it? People like Jason Leonard. Sometimes I think uh, their goal is to make it difficult for a student athlete. Uh, to live out their collegiate career um, with some comfort and in the knowledge that you know they're being looked out for. Do, do you feel like uh, you were left out of some of the decision making? Uh, yeah, I mean he, he definitely didn't make it easy, but you know I, I guess in the end he he's doing his job and it's kind of kind of just the way it is. So let's talk about how it all started, Mark Cody. Uh, ends up making the announcement that he'd be departing the program. And then mm -hmm. uh, Andrew Howe, uh, Cody Brewer, and then the final the final uh, stroke of the, of the pen, the final departure, really, that made a big difference to you, I got to believe, is Kendrick Maple's departure to sign on as an assistant at Purdue. Was that the, yep. big, was that the, the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, it was... You know, I, I liked all those guys a lot, and, and over the years, I, I got real close with them. Um, I know Brewer really wanted to stick around for a while, and obviously that, that was great for me. I mean, we've been workout partners for two years, obviously. I mean, <laughs> everyone knows how good he is, so, you know, I wanted him selfishly for a, for a workout partner. And I was also real close with Maple. You know, Maple's a real good guy. Um, he helped me through a lot of stuff from, you know, the transition from, like, freshman year to sophomore year, and uh, we were real close, and... He ended up, you know, leaving and going to Purdue. So it was just a lot of things that just kind of built up that, you know, just kind of left a left a bad taste in my mouth for sure. Okay, so and and let's face it, it's, it's just four or five years really of your life, and you might as well be happy. It was last year you placed seventh at 125 pounds for OU. Perhaps not the season you saw, but better than most. Let's face it, seventh mm -hmm. in the country at 125. That's a hard task indeed. I know your father. Uh, Ronnie's just uh, super proud of you. I know that most that watch you know that you're giving all you have to give. What does the future look like? Does Is there a redshirt year involved here? Do we have that to give? And when you mm -hmm. get to Arizona State and actually start classes there, what will you be when you get there? A sophomore? So I will be, because I didn't get, well, the good news is I still have a redshirt year. So I started as a true freshman and a true sophomore last year. I still have a redshirt year. So even though they didn't give me my release, you know, I have to sit out 365 days, but I can redshirt. So the good news is I have my redshirt year to burn this year, so it's not really going to uh, dip into my eligibility. I'll get to Arizona State in December, um, start classes in January. I can still work out with the team. I can go to open tournaments, stuff like that, start classes, and really just train for – I guess not this year, but the the year after that. All right, you went to Oklahoma as number twenty one recruit in the nation, and which, by the way, is difficult. I can't even stress how difficult that is. Uh, two years of eligibility left. Uh, All American honors. Your your true sophomore season. You got a redshirt season available, uh, so you burn that redshirt sitting out for the year. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then that leaves two years more that mm -hmm. uh, wrestling fans will be able to watch you continue your growth, your development in a new program at Arizona State. Uh, Zeke Jones obviously is uh, one of the reasons why you made a decision to attend Arizona State. What are some of yep. the other reasons why you decided to become a, uh, a Sun Devil? Uh, I mean, when I took my visit, you know, I was really, um, I was really kind of blown away, just like every 
everybody out here it, and just kind of, you know, not just the coaches and the, the my future teammates, but the administration, the school, the community. I mean, they're all so like closely knitted together. I mean, it, it was it was like a culture shock almost from from coming from OU. Um, you know, just that the administration was so involved with what they were doing. I mean, I met people, um, you know, like, uh, what was it? like senior athletic, uh, department people that like, you're like se senior athletic, uh, directors, you know, just, just all sorts of people that, that were helpful. And, you know, they, you weren't looked at as, as just like a, an athlete. And, and I'm not saying I wasn't looked like that at OU. I'm just saying like, you know, they, they were really focused, like looking at you as like a human being, not just like a, a student or just an athlete. And that was one thing I, I really, I really liked, you know, they, it, the impression I got is they really cared about you as like a person, if that makes sense. Sure. And they want like every individual to be successful and, and go forward. So, you know, when, when it all came together, you know, they, they're all just united and they're kind of like one unit and they're all working together to, to go forward and, and some big things are happening out here. And I, I really truly believe some big things are going to happen in the future. And that's definitely something I want to be a part of. We're talking with Ron Milhoff. He's in the Nike hot seat today. Once it became known that you were interested in transferring other programs, other coaches like Virginia mm -hmm. Tech, North Carolina, NC State, Ohio State, Arizona State, Penn State. I mean, all these schools put you on their radar. You were being followed by coaches on social media, on, on Twitter and on Facebook, and, and they were starting to keep track of what your intentions were. And all of a sudden, you were a highly desired commodity again. Could you feel that at the time? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I didn't think it was kind of going to go the way it went. It was crazy. Um, you know, I, I got recruited coming out of high school and I thought that was stressful. Um, <laughs> this, the second time around was a lot more crazy. You know, I finally let it go public that, you know, I, I was going to leave Oklahoma and my phone blew up. It got pretty, it got pretty crazy. When you say it blew up, uh, you have to, first of all, have a confirmation from OU that you can talk to these other coaches, correct? Yes. So, so I sent in, so I sent in my, uh, my permission to contact and they granted me that so that was nice. that much I, yeah i mean it was kind of weird because i got that but then i got my denied transfer so it was like you can talk to the schools you just can't leave so it was kind of <laughs> weird but All right. I, it, it ended up working out so it's like talking out of both sides of your mouth almost um again we're talking with ryan milhoff and uh he comes from great stock uh very open and honest kid apparently now eyes wide open as to the process of how things work, not only at OU perhaps, but in the uh, collegiate environment altogether. They have to protect to the best of their ability their uh, their investment. And that's what they're doing, Ryan, right? They're, they're making an investment in you, offering you an education and opportunity as, at a great collegiate career, at a great program. But now you, you choose to take it to Arizona State. Um, mm -hmm. It's no secret. Zeke Jones is building... Uh, what looks to be a dynasty of athletes and a, a, a highly, highly respectable team out there. What are your mm -hmm. beliefs about Arizona State and Zeke Jones and the potential for the future? I think in the next year or two, I think we're going to be national title uh, contenders. I really do. I mean, the, the team out here and, and the guys and kind of, you know, harping on what I said earlier, everyone's moving forward. Everyone's a unit. Everyone's going forward. I, I, you know, maybe we'll shock some people. Maybe people are, are already starting to figure it out. But I got real high hopes. You know, I'm confident in the coaching staff from from what I know already, and, and the guys. You know, I think it's just, I think it's going to take off. I think it's 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 going to be a lot of fun. Got to ask you about something that happened uh, here recently at the uh, uh, Flow Wrestling event. Who's number one? Uh, your buddy, uh, Cody Brewer, absolutely put it to Tony Ramos at 61 kilos. Matter of fact, it was over quicker than most. He was up four takedowns with a minute 43 to go. Uh, what were your thoughts after watching that uh, particular matchup? I shocked. <laughs> if there's one thing I've ever learned from being friends and teammates with Cody Brewer, don't count that guy out, ever. I mean, he's just... He's relentless. He's a goer. 
I mean, heck, you saw how many times he shot just in that match. Tried dealing with his shots for two years. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, it, that's just that's how he is. He's one of those guys. He's gonna let it fly, and he has fun. The guy loves competing. He's got one of the best. Uh, uh, I think I'm stealing a quote from Lightner here, but he's got one of the best like competitive spirits out there. When he's on, I wouldn't want to wrestle. Nice. And so Ramos uh, uh, received the gift from Brewer, and that was the loss in this case. Uh, yeah. Twelve zero Tech fall when it was over, and now Brewer making his home at uh, Northwestern University as part of the coaching staff up there. And he's intending to wrestle at the non-Olympic weights world team trials in December at 61 kilos. What are your thoughts of him on the international stage? Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Watch out because he's, he's going to, he's going to make some noise for sure. We're talking with uh, a fine young man, Ryan Milhoff. Uh, he'll be heading to Arizona state here, uh, toward the end of December. We want to, uh, Tell you, Ryan, how much we appreciate your your openness, your your candor, mm -hmm. your honesty. Uh, we're sorry things didn't work out for you the way they should have at Oklahoma. Uh, did you ever get the finances all all figured out? Did all that make sense to you? Well, mm -hmm. you know, we we finally got it. Are you talking like at uh, at Arizona at at OU? Oh, um, I know there was some confusion there. Yeah, it thing scholarship kind of got tampered with. A little bit uh, maybe it was a lack of communication maybe it was a lack of understanding I'm not sure um, but you know, it, it's just kind of the, the way it the way it panned out I guess with with more confusion with how everything else um, was kind of handled but you know it's just just the way it is I know that uh, some parents are super, super excited when their kids are getting looked at, part of the process of being uh, recruited. Uh, sometimes things can get overlooked, and this is my invitation to parents out there. Go into it with eyes wide open. Don't rush into signing any documents. Make sure you get the mm -hmm. advice needed. If you don't feel comfortable, there might be a reason behind that. Uh, take a good look at everything that's being promised by an athletic department, by a university, so yep. you don't suffer the same type of uh, uh, disappointment, perhaps, that Ryan has suffered. Maybe you will have a different, uh, a different outcome in your careers. But uh, go into it with eyes wide open for the benefit of your kids and uh, your athletes as well. Ryan, thanks for the time today. We wish you the best, certainly, yeah. throughout the balance of this semester as we head to December. We're looking forward to your arrival at Arizona State, see what you add to the Sun Devil program, both in the room and on the mat, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you in competition at the Opens. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Thank you guys for having me. Who do you want to thank, man? There's got to be some guys you want to thank uh, on your way out. Oh, yeah, for, for making all this happen. I mean, obviously, I want to thank all the, the schools that – um you know, that, that showed interest in me, you know, I want to thank my, my family, uh, for, you know, first, you know, they, they were behind my back the whole time, even, you know, when, when things got weird and confused, they, they had my back, you know, no matter what. And I also want to thank, you know, this might come to shock to some people, but I also want to thank the coaching staff at OU, you know, they were real civil about the whole process. Um, you know, with, with me transferring, they were helpful. They treated me, you know, just like any other person when I was there. So, you know, that that meant a lot to me. Um, and, you know, I, I just want to thank them and, and the guys for also being civil, you know, while I'm still there and, and making the transition. I want to thank you today for wearing the type of T-shirt you're wearing, sitting in the warm weather that you're sitting and enjoying, obviously, <laughs> and yeah. with a 60-degree high today. In, uh, in Des Moines, Iowa. So make, yeah, yeah, thanks for making me feel it's warm. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoying yep. the grind. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Ryan Milhoff has been our guest in the Nike Hot Seat today. For all of us at Takedown Media, I'm Scott Casper. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.